Hi math students, just a quick video uh, stepping us through how we can use GeoGebra to develop a model uh, from a practical scenario. So in this situation uh, we've got a basketball that's been thrown towards a hoop and its motion you can see has been tracked within the picture. And what we want to do is develop a model uh, for this basketball, the path that the basketball is taking, and write an equation of that model. And then from that, can we use the equation to predict whether the basketball will actually go through the hoop? All right, if you haven't already, uh, press pause and uh, either in the comments of this video or on the OneNote that you have access to, click on the um, GeoGebra link that I have there. When you open up the GeoGebra file, it should look something like this. Um, I have accidentally moved the scale by uh, using my fingers to zoom in on my touch screen. Uh, if you do that, you can um, fix it up again by left clicking on any of the axes and then dragging it to adjust the scale. Um, so you can see I've left clicked and I'm moving the X to readjust and I'm going to do the same with the Y until it's where I want it. Um, in the original picture I had the ball release centered on Y is 2 so I'm going to fix that up. Once you're happy with that uh, I want you to come over to the right here where you see this little um, icon. If it's not there, just left click on it. And what we're interested in is these three little dots um, because we want to see that input screen um, for where it records all of our inputs. You'll notice the little input bar down the bottom here. Um, and the first thing we want to do is enter in a point. So I'm going to call it point A, um, and I'm going to um, make that value um, the point of release, which is at 0, 2. And press enter for it to record in. You'll see that it, it adds to the side here. The next thing I'm going to do is kind of guesstimate where another point might be. So say I'm considering putting a point in for this basketball here. Um, I'm going to call it point B and it's around, uh, I'm guessing at about point 6 or point 7, I'm not 100% sure on the x-axis and approximately 3.6 on the y-axis. So the beauty of this is that I can adjust the point once I've created it. So if I'm saying point 6 on the x-axis and 3.6 on the y-axis you'll see it'll add it and it's not exactly where I want it but if I left click on the point I can drag it um, and I actually before I do that I need to make sure I have this the move icon up there and then I can drag that point and you'll see that the coordinate will update in the display window over here so you can drag it till you're happy where it is I think that looks pretty good. After that, I'm going to put in a third point uh, because, th as you've seen theoretically, we need at least three points to model a function, and GeoGebra works the same way. So I'm going to pick this top ball here. It looks like it's about x is 2.2, y is 5.1. So I'm going to create um, a third point, c, 2.2, 5.1, um, not precisely where I'd like it, so again I'm just going to adjust it by left clicking on the point, dragging it to where I think it's best, that looks pretty central. Now from there I can use a handy little command called fit poly, so if I type in fit um, you should be able to look down a list and I'm after fit poly 
uh, I want to use the list of points I've generated and the fact that my quadratic or parabola is a second degree polynomial. So I'm going to select that command. So the list of points I want to use is a comma b comma c and then moving over to degree of the polynomial I'll just whack in a 2 there and you can see that it's fitted. Um, the equation for the quadratic is um, conveniently popped in now for us and if you don't like it in this standard quadratic polynomial form um, then you can show off your skills and algebraically demonstrate how to change it to turning point form using your completing the square method or you can factorize it um, using the old split ease factorization and pop it into intercepts form. I'm not a big fan of the brown color it makes it very hard to see um, so what I can do is click on the little three points here and go to settings and just up the top here you can change um, the color of the line so I'm going to make it purple close that up and when we have a look at our purple line we can see that although it kind of fits the path of the basketballs it doesn't fit it exactly and we can fix this by adding in some more reference points for GeoGebra to use to create a better fit so what I'm going to do is pop in two extra points I might pick this one here and this one down here and see how that affects the fit of the model that we develop. So I'll put two more points in. So you can see I pop one in here, I pop one in here and I'm going to try that fit poly again. And this time expand it to the five points. second degree polynomial because it's a quadratic and you should be able to see now the red line shows a bit of a better fit to my basketball path so this red line this model here um, seems to be a better fit to my basketball path so you'd think that that model would be a bit more reliable in predicting where the basketball might end up. And visually I can see that the red model looks like it's going to go through, the ball will go through the basketball hoop successfully, where the purple model visually looks like it's going to hit the rim of the basketball hoop and probably bounce off. So I would be using um, more than three points if I could to model a function and therefore use that model um, to make some predictions um, on something like a basketball going into a hoop. If I was to add a point um, central to this basketball hoop uh, so this looks like it's about um, 3.6-ish on the x-axis, 3.3-ish on the y-axis. So I pop that point in, um, made it pink just so it's different from the other points. Uh, so that's my target and this would be a great way of visualizing um, and verifying any model that I might have developed algebraically. Alrighty, so hopefully that helped a little bit um, on showing you how I can use GeoGebra to um, model a real life scenario given a couple of points and my little fit poly command. So good luck using this for whatever um, you need to. Thanks for listening.